How to grow foxglove. Foxglove are showy, bell-shaped wildflowers native to the woods of northern Europe. Foxglove grow 2 to 5 feet 0.6 to 1.5 meters tall and produce robust pink, purple, red, white and yellow blossoms. If you have trouble keeping flowers safe from deer in your yard, you might plant foxglove. It contains small amounts of a toxic chemical, making it deer resistant. Keep in mind that this makes foxglove toxic to humans as well as other animals, however, including pets. If you want to learn how to grow this gorgeous flower, keep reading. Preparing to plant. Purchase seed or seedlings from a garden store. Foxglove seed is readily available in seed packets on most flower seed stands. If you decide to start foxglove from seed, you'll need to be ready to plant it in early summer. If you're planting seedlings, you may plant in spring or fall. If you're starting from seed, use 4-inch seed trays with seed compost. Lightly press the seeds into the compost. Do not cover the seeds with more compost once they are sown, since they require light to germinate. E2, greater than plan to plant the seedlings when they are a few inches tall. If you're starting from seed, use 4-inch seed trays with seed compost. Lightly press the seeds into the compost. Do not cover the seeds with more compost once they are sown, since they require light to germinate. Plan to plant the seedlings when they are a few inches tall. Start your plants indoors. You can also grow foxglove inside or in a greenhouse before planting outside. You'll want to use a large container that is at least 16 inches 40.6 centimeters in diameter, with drainage holes at the bottom. Use a potting mix with 2 inches 5.1 centimeters of compost mixed into the top inches and plant the foxglove so that the root ball is covered. Make sure to place your foxglove where it will get 3 to 6 hours of direct sun each day while it's inside. Try a south or west facing window. Cover the plant's soil surface with a 2 inch deep layer of mulch. This will keep the soil moist. Water the plant deeply about twice each week, checking the soil first. If the soil is dry at a depth of 2 inches, water. Fertilize the foxglove once in the spring before it flowers, using a the 10th of October 10 water soluble fertilizer. Mix in 1 tablespoon of fertilizer in a gallon of water for each plant. Make sure to place your foxglove where it will get 3 to 6 hours of direct sun each day while it's inside. Try a south or west facing window. Cover the plant's soil surface with a 2 inch deep layer of mulch. This will keep the soil moist. Water the plant deeply about twice each week, checking the soil first. If the soil is dry at a depth of 2 inches, water. Fertilize the foxglove once in the spring before it flowers, using a the 10th of October 10 water soluble fertilizer. Mix in 1 tablespoon of fertilizer in a gallon of water for each plant. Find a good place to plant foxglove. Foxglove prefer full sun or light shade. Find a place outdoors that isnt too windy and gets plenty of sun for most of the day. They should be protected from wind as they are easily buffeted about and can change their growth shape if assaulted by wind too frequently. If your climate is very hot, semi-shade is acceptable. Look for suitable soil. Foxglove like soil that is deep, moist, and acidic. Look for a spot that drains well, rather than holding too much water. If you see puddles in an area after a heavy rain, it probably doesn't drain well enough to be a good home for foxglove. Prepare the planting site. Use a garden rake or hoe to loosen the soil and rake in compost to a depth of about a foot. This will make sure the soil is suitably rich and ready for the foxglove to take root. You can use fertilizer instead of compost, but be sure to use a light application. Too much fertilizer will harm the foxglove. Dig holes spaced 2 to 4 feet 0.6 to 1.2 meters apart. They should be twice as wide as the root balls of the seedlings, and deep enough so that you can fit the entire root ball underground. Plant the foxglove. Set the root balls into the holes and lightly pat soil around the bases of the stems. Water the area thoroughly. 